The work and solidarity of the Catholic Church with the world's poor is unsurpassed. The moral and religious teachings of the Gospel imply that Christians place themselves at the service of those in need. Certain faithful have chosen this service as a vocation, a consecration to the religious life. Many of these religious travel to other parts of the world where the needs are greater. Bolivia is a poor country which relies heavily on the help offered by many missionary priests and nuns from abroad. The Daughters of the Holy Spirit is a small community of nuns which came from Mexico seven years ago. In only a short time, they've been able to develop an extraordinary presence, only understood if one considers their radical choice and their humble but persevering service to the indigenous inhabitants of this poor town. When we arrived, we were scared. We didn't know anything. The Altiplano is very hard. There are few neighbors. They asked us to organize a school which only had walls for seven classrooms. It was built thanks to a German priest. A group of neighbors helped with the adobe bricks. It seems incredible now that we began our mission only in 1998. We started with 250 students sitting on small benches or bricks. We had no study materials of any kind. Children were willing to study. However, it was very hard with the families because we couldn't speak with them. We didn't know Aymara. Las familias un poco difícil por el por el Aymara y bueno nosotras que no no podíamos hablarles. The main aim of the Daughters of the Holy Spirit is vocational development. Native religious vocations are an urgent need in Bolivia. Native priests are better able to help the local community. For this reason, the school is of such importance for the sisters. At school, the child through an increased knowledge and awareness of their culture, is able to develop fully with integrity and dignity. The social context? Very poor children. Their parents have emigrated from the country. Many of them come from the country looking for a better life and they find a reality which offers them no work here in El Alto. Many of them live in borrowed houses, which are in fact a small adobe room. Some parents have temporary jobs, and some others have a small shop where they sell potatoes, vegetables and some seeds. Others are masons, they make adobe bricks. Older students work on buses, calling out the destinations and routes. Still others work as shoe shiners. Generally, the smaller children do this kind of job. Ese es el trabajo de, de los niños sobre todo, ¿no? Although the majority of students come from poor backgrounds, the school has been built and equipped with the necessary tools to provide a first-class education. The aim is to help children achieve a better standard of living, to have the necessary skills to enable them to grow socially and personally. Their families are now able to offer them this kind of education thanks to the new Catholic school. The combined efforts of the Faith and Joy Association and the Sisters of the Holy Spirit. Since its opening six years ago, the Fernando Bravo School has 780 students. It has been built thanks to local help and the generous support received from several international charitable organizations. One of these is Aid to the Church in Need, encouraging solidarity with the suffering church from thousands of Catholics from around the world.
Estas hermanas misioneras mexicanas the mission of these Mexican missionary sisters is above all vocational development, as, with any other congregation, they are growing, developing and improving. The sisters complied with the bishop's request and adapted their service to the local reality. The main need in El Alto is to assist handicapped children and their families. This has become a way of living their missionary service. Aid to the Church in Need has already worked with them. They are active in many other countries and, wherever their mission, they insist on education. They do their best to help the children in this school which belongs to Fe y Alegría, an institution directed by the Jesuits. This